first of our weekend project guides today I'm going to be showing you how to create a simple and easy summer hanging basket which is going to add colour and interest to your outside space this time of year so whether it's a balcony, a terrace or a garden it's really achievable on any gardening skill level Okay, so let's get started. When choosing your hanging basket, there's a few options for you to explore. One of them being this very traditional style in wrought iron with a natural cocoa liner. This can be cut through the sides and planted, also planted in the top, and looks great hanging up. Another option is this man-made rattan, plastic lined, gives us a really nice deep root run for any planting, and probably a bit more contemporary, but again, looks great hanging up. I'm actually going to use this style today, which is a 14 inch easy plant basket. Doesn't have any liner as you can see, but actually has these removable panels which snap in really easily. It means you can get lots of full planting around the bottom, lots of training plant, you're not going to see any liner. So when it's hanging up, a lovely full basket. Okay, so now comes the best bit. We're going to choose the plants going into your hanging basket. I've chosen a range here from the garden centre. This is our 10.5 centimetre range. We've got a fantastic choice. I've gone for a, a fairly muted and pastel um, palette here, but actually totally down to personal preference. If you prefer fiery hot colours, then go for it. Nothing, nothing is out of bounds. I'm going to start by using these lovely dichondra. It's got fantastic silvery foliage, and they're going to go into the bottom of the basket because they're going to create fantastic trailing foliage. Best thing to do when you've popped the plant out of its pot is to gently tease out any of these very fine fibrous roots. Just means that all of these will get growing really well established and not ending up with a, a kind of bound root ball as the plant tries to grow. What I'm gonna do is pop that on the side there. The compost I've used for this is just a general multi-purpose. It's actually uh, designed for hanging baskets and containers. It says it contains a moisture retaining gel so hopefully it's going to help me during the summer especially if we get some hot weather this year it's going to retain onto some of the moisture okay so i've got my first layer of compost in the bottom of the basket i'm going to start with the trailing plants so like i say i've just teased the roots out of this lovely silver leafed dichondra i'm going to pop that through the side here and just make sure you've teased all of the foliage out then with these removable panels we just pop those around the collar of the plant and they simply snap into place like that which gives us a really nice secure plant we know that's not going to fall out once we've watered it and it's hanging up we've also got some really gorgeous variegated napita one of my favorite foliage plants as I said before, just tease out all of those little fibrous roots so they're going to work their way into our nice fresh compost. Spin your basket round. I've actually used two of the Napita and two of the Dichondra, so I've got four spaces at the bottom and what I'm doing is I'm actually going to alternate between the two. So when they fill out, we've got a lovely mix of those two different foliages. Okay, so I've got all of my trailing plants in the bottom there, alternated round. I'm just going to top up with the next layer of compost to bring me up to the next level. I'm actually going to use these lovely little trailing petunia. They've got gorgeous veining in them. They're going to trail down the sides as well. So I'm going to pop these in next. Again, just feeding them through the side really carefully. Just tease those roots out like I did before and popping the panel in to hold them in place. Next plant I'm going to use is this really gorgeous uh, bright pink trailing verbena. As you can see, really stunning. Bees and butterflies are going to absolutely love these and it's just going to give a real pop of colour in this basket. These ones are a little bit more tricky because we've got some length on these already, but it's fine. We just pop them through carefully. Try not to damage any of the roots as you get them through. On goes our panel, like so. It just snaps into place. Again, tease those roots out. And I'm going to repeat this around these two layers as well. 
Okay, so I've got my second layer of plants in now. I'm just gonna top up with the final layer of compost. I'm gonna make sure that this is actually about an inch or an inch and a half from the surface of the basket. That's gonna help when watering. What I don't wanna do is fill it right to the surface because when we do water and it's hanging up, all that's gonna happen is the water's gonna cascade over the edge and we're not actually gonna get that water down to the roots where we need it. So next bit of planting is in the top layer. I'm gonna use these really lovely brachycum, which have got these tiny purple daisies. Lovely little plant. Gonna just, again, tease the roots out of these and plant these just a couple of inches from the edge. So you're allowing some space for them to fill out. Tuck those little guys in and just bed him round with some compost. Make sure that we get all that soil around the roots. We don't want those exposed in the sun and we certainly don't want any air pockets. The next plant I'm going to use is this lovely Lamesia which is actually slightly scented which is really nice especially if it's near uh, your front door if the hanging basket's going to be there or near a garden terrace. You're just going to get that slight bit of scent every time you walk past. Just pop these in, feel round and I'm actually going to repeat that process just around here, around the outside. Okay, so our basket's completed. Last couple of jobs are to give it a really good water in. I'm using a watering can with a very fine hose on. I just want to make sure that all of those roots are bedded in nicely. Keep it watered throughout the summer. Don't let it dry out and it's probably worth giving it a liquid feed every couple of weeks throughout the season just so you've got plenty of flower producing also just to keep it looking really good go through it and just deadhead any flowers that are, that are finished and you'll have a fantastic display all summer long just pop on the chains and you're ready to hang your basket up and enjoy all summer long